Welcome back guys to another episode of my Factorio Let's Play. Uh, well, the last couple of episodes we uh, not only built our module factory, but we also... Well, got rid of some uh, legacy copper production over here. I mean, actually that's already the second copper mine that we demolished now, well, I think we also got rid of the iron mine once, yeah, that's also all completely gone. Well, um, yeah, exactly, so we, we ran into, or we essentially discovered the issue that uh, our copper isn't quite enough here, so, so the issue isn't our copper production, it's just basically getting it where it needs to go is, is the issue. And for that we needed a bit of space up here so we got rid of all the copper shenanigans. Um, yeah. So we have to kind of redistribute our entire iron stuff here. That's also definitely for sure. Yeah, well, we have to get more copper through here and that's kind of the thing that we need to build now. Okay. So for one, we need definitely uh, blue belts all the way. Um, I actually think we should probably like start from the other side, maybe. So because now we're sharing like a blue belt for two copper belts each and that has to uh, essentially go away so we can feed this into here we can f oh no feed that into there and then go down here essentially all right do a similar thing over here yeah that looks uh, looks good that way okay so now this all here has to be upgraded this down here can go away frankly so we can just pull this entire thing through here. Yeah, I, I was just building too fast, like we don't have a blue belt problem right now, luckily. Alright, so now this should look a lot better on like one half of the factory while the other one now has absolutely no copper anymore. So, yeah, now we have to, ah, oh, jeez, we have to at least build uh, the copper, uh, the copper supply here, or the, the belts for that all, and then we have to essentially look into how we're getting the copper there uh, at the next stage, essentially. Yeah, this all has to go as well. Actually, all of this has to go as well. All right, so now we have like the next belt over here. I think from this point on we can just underground the copper. Like that. Why? Oh, there's a tree in here. Wow. That poor tree. Dang it. Like, yeah, that was definitely dead. Oh, yeah, there's like more trees over here everywhere. Well. Okay. Uh, then we can go. 
like that. And then we can go like that. Okay, so this is all upgraded already. Um, yeah, so now the issue definitely is that we have uh, not enough space for like getting the stuff through here. So we need to move that all a little bit up to, to the north, essentially. Which also means that we have to move this thing here up north. Okay. So we can go maybe like that. I don't want to go like too far. I just still want to keep like everything a bit together here, but yeah, yeah, we we just need a space kinda. And now we have to get rid of all of this crap down here. Oh Jesus. Lordy, this is not good. Not good for our inventory space at least. Come on, charge and go inside me. All right. So now we have probably like uh, lots of rocket fuel in our system pretty soon. Oh yeah, we also definitely need to redo all of this here at some point. All right, so now we have moved this all up a bit. How's oh, rocket fuel now? Yeah, well, 400. Jesus, 400. Let's just do that real quick. And then we can fill this back into here. So this has like at least a chance of some time, like just backing up. I mean, we are getting fairly close here. Especially considering everything. Is there any? No, there's no rocket fuel left in the system. Awesome. Okay, this uh, might take a little while here now. I mean, yeah, I can also do this here. I think this is just a bit quicker. All right, I mean, we are almost emptied out here now, inventory, perfect, okay. And it should be common backing up pretty quickly here. Okay, so now we can move all the iron. I would say we are also upgrading that all to blue belt. I mean, now we have kind of the opportunity to do that, and we should probably do that. So this is like the most upper thing anyway, so now we are moving this like up by a lot, which should technically be enough. Alright, this thing is all the way in there. Yeah, we can just work uh, around this like like that. Um, yeah, we can work around all of this here uh, like that. Okay. Uh, now we just have to like redistribute all the lines to up here, and then we can go through here uh, and build and upgrade everything, yeah. That sounds like a working plan to me at least. Okay, here's the, the next one kinda. 
All right, the, the robot swarms everywhere. It's it's awesome. Okay. And we can actually just like get rid of most of that stuff. I mean, it's just cramped in there. We can definitely make that look a little bit nicer by what we're doing right here. Yeah, let's throw it like in there, like that. Then we can go through here. And through here. Yeah, that's all surprisingly working out very well. Like, except of, of that right there. But this, uh, again, right here. We don't have to go that far, actually. Uh, we can get... rid of this. No, we don't get rid of this. This is all the new copper already and you also get a big power pole there yeah right because this just pulls like through here with uh, all the copper and that kind of jazz okay so now that's pulling through here uh, like that we can upgrade this and then we are pretty much almost done with that actually I mean nothing's producing right now anymore but that's just how it is okay so all the iron should be at least in theory hooked up so now uh, the fun thing which is like rerouting all of this through here and I'm essentially going to underground the iron. Can we go? Yeah, we can go like that. Beautiful. Okay. So now we can get rid of even more. Okay, so this is all just still a little bit red in there. But this is now all going to be pretty blue which obviously will be boosting the iron throughput because the problem is when you uh, like fix one throughput issue then you are usually already within the next one okay so now there's iron coming through as well again So now I want to do a much larger issue here. Like first off, you're missing another belt. That's a big issue. I was just wondering, like, why do we have like three belts? That doesn't make any sense. Okay. Uh, now we have four additional belts in here. Uh, this all is now emptied out. Okay. We can probably do this here as well, just for the kind of the looks and stuff. Okay. So now we need four more additional bells down there, essentially. We have to bring them through here somehow. Okay. So here we have six bells worth of output, which is far from enough. Actually, like thinking about this, like having eight input belts here, we should probably get even more than that. And we have like six up here, so we should get double the belts out of like this unloading thing. So the issue with that is that we can't just do like that because this is required for like getting everything on both sides. What we now could do is just this this might actually work pretty well I think yeah that's also just 
blueprint this over everywhere here so we have that easy and ready to go. We can also just remove like the rest of belts. So now the next issue kind of is that this line here is kind of in a way. Oh wow, yeah, this is an issue actually. Where are my construction bots? Dang it. Because we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like eight, nine, if you would stretch it, which definitely is not enough. So like, let's move that like down by a lot. Underneath here. Oops, and back into the system up here, okay. Now we're removing all of this, which again is not really that great, all things considered, but we have to do it. I'm sorry. We just have to do it. We also have to get rid of this thing right here. It just doesn't make any sense anymore. We need more construction bots up here. Like they are just probably too far away from like the main storage, which I would guess is like the main issue at this point. But, uh, let's also just look over here for a quick sanity check. So we are having one, two, like nine, like ten belts going into there. Yeah, we are going to run into issues up here. Probably we are having, yeah, twelve going into here, which is fine. But we are stepping up essentially 10 belts to 12 belts, which is like not enough. <laughs> oh yeah, this is uh, lots and lots of copper. Like the next issue just is, uh, yeah, transporting and routing that like through the entire factory. Yeah, like these are going to be quite a few issues. I also don't think that we are going to be able to balance like the output over here, but I also don't think this is actually necessary because we are already balancing it at like the other side and things like that. Uh, yeah, so I don't think that we actually need like that huge balancer that we would need to balance everything here. Oh yeah, like this is looking good. We just have to underground all of these because we don't have like underground bells that are that long. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, I need uh, new blue bells. <laughs> yeah, uh, the question just is like how we are going to route this all through here. I would think that we are making like that we're moving like the iron and the copper, uh, the iron and the coal over. Like this could be the new iron belt and stuff like that, and we have maybe enough space in there. But that's a big maybe, actually. Like a really big maybe. Oh god. Yeah, let's disconnect that over here. Yeah, like this is, <laughs> these are going to be major space problems in our base here at this point. But yeah, like this is a 12 belt of iron, so uh, copper for that matter. So yes, that's, uh, that's big. I mean, sure, it's like not crazy or anything like that, but it's, it's considerable. We should also probably, before we do that, uh, disconnect this from wherever this is going. Uh, yeah, this would be... This would be a, a fun little fail, to say the least. We should also disconnect that over here now. Uh, 
Um, yeah, you don't want to mix up like big belts <laughs> of this caliber. Alright, this has to go now. Yeah, I definitely should have drained this before deconstructing it, but... Yeah, you're all ways smarter afterwards, so... Yeah, and just draining the belt before removing, or like, yeah, deconstructing it is just something for pussies. I mean, now we probably have like, yeah, 7.4 thousand iron in our system again, but at least that's not ore. And this is also going to be a, a bit more iron pretty soon. Okay, so now we essentially just removed our entire copper thing. Yeah, we should also get rid of this balancer now. We don't really need that one anymore. So now we can also move the coal belt over. Yeah, I just shouldn't... Yeah, I should probably move this like here. Hmm. Yeah, that would be probably a smart idea. Like going at this distance here. Okay, let's see where this uh, actually leads us because we definitely need some... Or we would need some underground belts, but I'm going to just do what I'm doing right here. And then I'm just merging back, essentially. I think we just threw that somewhere. Our inventory is full. Ah, uh, yeah, I definitely see why this could be a possibility that it's full. Um, another one is definitely rocket fuel again, which we can also get rid of. And also should get rid of, because this is... Overall a mess, like we just killed our entire factory looking at this all here. Like we are already completely drained everywhere from everything. Uh, well. Alright, so now we need space. Also need to get rid of this now to, to get the space that we need. Okay, now we can join this in again. So now comes the fun task, which is routing that copper belt. So we are talking about. 12 lanes of copper here. Actually, that fits fairly well through here with like one space to the sides, which is actually pretty cool. Huh. Alright, so we have some, some pipes in here which we have to deal with. Let's see if I can just, if I'm able to go like total jank and just underground what we need to underground which I guess should be a possibility and yeah this is just pretty big probably bigger than you should actually go All right, then let's just put in the couple underground here. Yeah, that's actually working fairly well, I would say. Yeah, I should have started from the center here. All 
All right, so this is now uh, a thing. I want to leave like one space so we don't get it all running just now. Okay. This is big. Okay. Now we need some underground belts again. Let's also blueprint this just because. Oh wow. So how is our uh, transport belts? We still have like lots of belts, so that's not the issue. Okay, so now we should untangle this entire mess down here. Like what is this dude doing here and this dude and this dude? I'm sure they're all like linking everything together here, but this is just... Weird, essentially. Okay, uh, let's see if we can pull our copper cables here manually. We are not disposing of them automatically, which is good. Yeah, because I want to go all the... Oh, no. Like, that's closed, definitely, so we can... Move up here, maybe we can spend this... Yeah, probably we have to get rid of all the cables on here. And then we can, hopefully. Oh man, this is so goddamn close. Yeah, let's just put that there. I don't even care anymore. I have the feeling that our construction bots are kind of doing too much, but they're, yeah. Like, we should have the capacity for this all here, but we somehow don't. Okay, these are our eight belts for there. I, yeah, we should definitely, uh, I'm thinking, we should probably balance this, right? So like two, six. I mean, we. Yeah, we need eight here and four there. So we need 12 and we have 12. Makes sense, yeah. No, we are not going to balance this. Balance the time is over. I mean, it would be in this situation probably good to balance it. So we have like our outputs right and stuff. But the thing is, we are already balancing this at the copper mine anyway. So yeah, I'm just going to leave like one space in there so you kind of get the point and it looks kind of nice maybe hopefully all right okay so now we only have to essentially do it the honor and switch it on oh this is a massive belt like i'm thrilled it's going Oh, Jesus. This is beautiful. I mean, we are probably not going to see this thing that full <laughs> anytime soon again, but it looks kind of nice. That's all that matters right now, right? So this is now all going to turn on again and stuff like that. Beautiful everything. Oh yeah. Okay, so we're getting 
our stuff not here from everywhere. This is beautiful. Okay. So now we should do like uh, this. And this and probably that. So it's at least somewhat balanced. And then we can feed this all together like that, hopefully. Okay. So now we get more green circuits than we can transport away, at least for now when everything's still buffered. Yeah, let's also upgrade all the red belt we still have in here. It just doesn't make any sense to still carry around blue belt in there. Uh, just to carry around red belt in there, I mean. Okay. Now this is all nicely and upgraded and now we only have to do this and the other one over there. Okay. I mean, at least by the looks of it, it's bottlenecked by the output, which is always a good thing. Right? So let's look at our production statistics actually for a bit. Wow, that actually went up by quite a bit, actually. Uh, you know, looking at like the hour graph, so we were like there pretty the top of it, and now we are a bit higher. And that's beautiful. Uh, obviously, this is now quite taxing on our... I mean, this is all looking fine. This is also... I mean... Not all of them are working right, but this is to be expected, kind of. I mean, I still would say that our CPU production is kind of fine at this point. I mean, this isn't going at 100%, so this is kind of good, because we are limited by output, as I said. So this up here is all still fine. I mean, this is now emptying out to 5,000. So we might need another train soon on this line. And two trains on there, I mean, would be probably fine, but... Yeah, just the, the fact that we don't have any stacker down there is kind of worrying. And yeah, this is loading in rather quickly, so these are now all working. I mean, they are still, like, not all working, working, because they are, like, the output buffers and stuff that has to, like, get emptied out first, but... We are here fairly close to having another copper issue, which isn't a smelting issue and not a mining issue. It's just transport, which is the problem. But I think we are still looking at this a little bit away from that. So I think this is fine for the day now. <laughs> it's a pretty long episode, I know. I'm sorry. But let's just meet in the very next one. And until then, have a great time. See you all then. Bye bye.